dramatic events unfolded in Emmerdale. Marlon suffered one of every parent's worst nightmares. His daughter April started choking. To his relief, she's OK. But he was left shocked by Carly's reaction. She'd frozen in panic, and the scare forced her to revisit some painful memories. You froze. Maybe, just for a second. But before I knew it, you were there slapping her on the back. I'm so sorry. I know. I know. But what? But nothing. It's just one of them things. I'm just glad it ended the way it did. Unlike Billy, you mean? What? No. Come on. It's not like I haven't got a farm for kids dying Don't on me. Don't say that. No, it's true. This is proof that I am not fit that to be is a mother. Not what I am saying. You don't have at to all. say it. it's written all over your face. Do you know what? From now on, I want to stay away from April, and then she'll be safe. And the Carly, same goes for you. Don't please. No, what is the don't point, you. Marlon? If you don't trust me, there's Carly, no don't point. Don't do Carly. Oh, oh Emma Dills, Marlon and Carly, actors Mark Charnock and Gemma Atkinson join me now. That was strong stuff last night. It, it really you. was and very sad. Well, like you say, it is every parent's worst nightmare. Yeah. We wanted to get that right because you have a responsibility, you know, with the whole choking thing as well. Mm. We had a guy, we'd ask for a guy to be on set to show us how to do it properly. Sure. So people, you know, if people were watching, they'd, they'd get an idea of what to do. Mm. And they say don't panic, but... Right. Who wouldn't? It's who terrifying even that when we filmed it, it was yeah. horrible yeah, to watch. Yeah, I would imagine it, it would be. And of course, yeah. she freezes yeah. because it brings back all these horrible memories and she can't cope. Yeah, exactly. I mean, Carly's obviously, she's already lost a baby, Billy, to cot death. So in her mind, she's kind of like, it's too much pressure for yeah. her. She doesn't want it to happen again. Yeah. And it's not because she doesn't care or love April. She just genuinely didn't know what to do. And it's such a shame because we've seen that relationship between the two of them develop and they were getting mm. on so, so well. Yeah. You know, and starting to really bond. Yeah. And then yeah. that happens. <laughs> She runs away. <laughs> yeah, she does. She runs away, hopefully comes back, but you can't tell us, can you? No. <laughs> she's, she's one of those people who, instead of facing a problem, she just runs from them. She thinks it's better if she starts afresh somewhere else. You know, she, she's lived all over the country. She's had no stability in her life until now. Yes. So now she has that. You know, we're, we're dying for Marlon to say to her, listen, I do trust you. Come back, we can make it work. Mm. But it's so, and it has to be dramatic, doesn't it? Yeah. So. It does, I guess. It makes yeah. sense psychologically for her. She, yes. all, she runs yeah. and she runs. And, for, and from his point of view, it's heartbreaking because he is in love with her. And he, mm. he's, he's a character, I think, who is in love with the idea of being in love. And he, he wants to love somebody. It's a big thing for him. He wants to have a family. And he's finally found somebody who he really believes would be a, an amazing mum yeah. to his daughter. But it doesn't take much to sort of prick that bubble that they've got themselves into, especially with the situation she's in with she having lost grieve, her son. Because she's yeah. not grieved for him, has she? She's not dealt with it. No, no, not at all. That's very, very true. And the thing about it is you, you, you hit it on, right on the head. You've got to get these things absolutely right because mm. you know that there are people watching that will yeah. actually yeah. have yeah. gone through these terrible yeah. things. Yeah. So there is a, a real responsibility there, the, isn't the there? The guy was brilliant because he, you've got to make, get between that thing of actually getting it right technically because you, you know, you've got yeah. to bend the child forward mm. slightly, put your hand on the chest and on the back and hit hard and he was saying you know you need to bend her further forward but you obviously Marlon wouldn't be an expert in no, it, so you want it to look no. real as well exactly. you know yeah. as, yeah. As, so no, it's tricky I get that. you did say about the fact that he wants to find love and is in, in mm. love with love can we have a romp through shall we have a romp through let's have a romp through <laughs> the women on? in your life okay oh, or in his life first up was Bernice you shared a, a wow. cheeky kiss with Bernice but nothing <laughs> really happened no. then came your first true love marriage to Trisha yeah unfortunately mm. though she died on New Year's Eve that was back in 2003 yep. the roof of the wool pack collapsed upon her yeah. marriage wasn't all plain sailing when Trisha disappeared a couple of times Marlon dated Rona he later dated again had a son with her but then she left him her best friend Paddy, as you do. Also had a one night stand with his cousin Charity. Cousin? Next came yeah. second wife Donna, who cheated on him, came back five years later, announced they had a daughter together. <laughs> then she died as well. And if two marriages <laughs> <All right. laughs> now if two marriages hadn't put him off, he then got married to Laurel for a, th a third time. Uh, Laurel, though, became an alcoholic, uh, put his daughter in danger, and then ran over his dog. And finally, we have Gemma. 
as his current girlfriend, Carly. Now, with that track record, I'm not surprised say, she's I'm running away. Now. I'm that really, is the no worst romantic the CV in the history of television. That's I know. Terrible. I'm beginning to wonder whether he's the problem. If you yeah. know, sort of dating, <laughs> a dating site, it would be really good. Don't swipe left. Don't, don't swipe do left on this guy. I know. No. But, you know, he's, he has had an interesting and checkered past. And 20 <laughs> years. I know. That, How did that happen? I know. Don't even, don't even get me started. It, 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 me and Dominic, who play Paddy, we've been yes. in it about the same amount of time and we often talk about it with absolute disbelief and like it's the longest streak of luck because I still love it after all these I still go home and worry about getting it right and yeah, it's not luck it's because you're both good as well he's oh. always undersells himself and yeah. whenever we do a scene and everything he's like was it good was it good and it, you're there as well because you're great but don't you not think luck. as well sometimes I do think you know with the Emmerdale winning the NTA awards at the start of the year yeah. yes. um, I think finally I think there was a wee bit of a danger that Emmerdale got taken for granted yeah. a little bit yeah. and, and, and I think it has been on fire for a long time now, much so. even before the awards but it, it feels like they've been a long time coming and now they are coming people are kind of going mm. yeah, people it, it's like um people have woken up to the fact we, that we are part of the big three and on a level oh, playing definitely. field and you know come on you won yeah we've won a few sweep, now we've, won a, we've had a clean sweep the last. It's, it's, <laughs> gone, it's, it's been a really been good few years and that's down to yeah. the producers and writers as well and the cast are really strong and it, yeah we're, we're, at, we're on a, a real roll on the show at the minute no it's fantastic yeah. it's and there's really loads more good. coming as well yeah, oh there's some belly stuff coming stuff up coming yeah, yeah. Stuff. Yes. <laughs> that's the most northern I've ever been oh it's belting but you Jimmy you're such a you work so hard you're such a grafter still doing your radio show in the morning yeah keep or three, yeah, I do that in the morning, six till ten, and then I drive over to Leeds, eleven till about I, seven. I get the weary Gemma at about eleven yeah. o'clock. <laughs> He's there with a brew when I arrive. <laughs> That's incredible that yeah. you do that every day, and then you yeah. go and work. Yeah. Wow. And we might might see you in another Bollywood film. Yeah, hopefully. I, I am, love that I you did Bollywood in movies. Bollywood. It was one of the best experiences I've ever had, and if it ever came up again, I would jump at the chance of it. I, I really love would. Bollywood films. Yeah. yeah. They, they are just great. So, it's just pure so because they are grafters. Yeah. They they put me to shame. They work. From a light till dark, there's no oh. call sheets, just when the sun comes up, Amazing. you start, when the sun goes down, you stop. So, Bit like Emmerdale. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. Bit like Emmerdale. Yeah. Obviously, we're going to be watching tonight at 7 o'clock to see the fallout of all of this. And there's a lot of fallout. Yeah, yeah. yeah. sure yeah. there will there's be. Lots of so things. good to see you both. Oh, thanks Thank for you. Thank you. Awesome. Awesome. Give my love to everybody on Emmerdale. Of course we will. Thank, Thank you. They are a great big happy family. It is. It is yeah. like a family. It's yeah. true. It's absolutely true.